Hello everyone and welcome to the Ghost Letters Report. I'm with you as always, Ryan here from Tokyo, Japan. Now in the nuclear struggle that is ongoing here in Japan, the current ruling party of the government, the Democratic Party of Japan, has become more and more desperate to hold on to power as civil unrest and growing uh, discontent among the people continue to rise. Uh, we've seen several interesting actions from this ruling party as national elections continue to grow closer. And in that respect, it appears that the ruling party is aiming to accept a zero nuclear power reliance by the early 2030s as part of a new upcoming energy and environmental strategy. The, national, the current ruling party said that they will seek to reduce the nation's reliance on nuclear energy to 0% by the 2030s, but will continue to process spent atomic fuel. Officials announced this on Wednesday. The ruling Democrat Party of Japan has proposed that the government utilize all possible options to realize zero dependence in the 2030s. The government is set up to accept this goal. Now, this is coming from Japan Times here in Japan. Now, the medium to long range strategy, which may be finalized by the cabinet this Friday, the government will vow to strictly apply a rule limiting the maximum operational life of a nuclear reactor to 40 years. Now that is a very um, positive move considering that many times we'll see um, these nuclear power operators push the government to allow more than 40 years. That was an issue a few months back that created quite a quite quite a row in the uh, national government. Now, it will also call for allowing idle reactors to be restarted only if their safety is confirmed by the new Nuclear Regulatory Commission set up to debut later this month. In addition, the government will, own, will not build any new reactors or expand existing atomic plants. Now that opens the door to restart the nuclear reactors, which goes against the anti-nuclear movement here in Japan. So do not expect this uh, new revelation from the current ruling government to quill public dissent. Um, anti-nuclear movement in Japan has been very clear of no nukes whatsoever, zero restarts. So when they open the door to restart idle reactors, that's not going to be what the people of Japan want. Now, at present, as we know, only two of the current 50 reactors are operating here in Japan. Um, safety concerns, of course, are very high still, considering what's happened here in Japan with the triple meltdown at Fukushima number one nuclear power plant. People simply do not trust nuclear power. They do not trust the nuclear industry at all. So why, yes, it's very good that the government is pushing ahead for a zero nuclear power alliance in the 2030s, which means they haven't given an exact number, but it's become a clear goal. That's good, but they're still talking about restarting reactors, which the people of Japan do not want. They're still talking about um, spent processing spent atomic fuel, which they can sell. All right, and you get into possible weapon sales with that. So there's still a lot of concerns here. While this is an improvement, it's not quite what the people of Japan want. All right. Now, this was, uh, delays, was delayed for a little while here recently because of big business in Japan. I talked about that on Tuesday 
on the weekly live radio show I do. Um, the reason it was delayed, now we see why. Why business, why big business was wanting to delay this policy being taken is due to the reprocessing of, of spent nuclear fuel. There's some type of profit motive involved there. Obviously. All right. Now, we'll have to wait and see. And see about this uh, processed spent nuclear fuel issue. And something we should all research and look into more. But, as a, but I did want to get this information out. Do a video on this, okay? So now we have the government trying to adopt this new energy policy to get rid of nuclear power in Japan. But we need to continue to watch this um, issue very closely, okay? So as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please spread it around. Please get discussions going. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do so. You'll get lots of videos, nuclear issues here in Japan. You'll get demonstration videos. You'll get other issues I'll upload on videos from time to time, plus a few surprises coming in the near future. So, until next time, this is me, Ryan, here in Tokyo, Japan. Check it out.